In the vast ancient North American landscape 8,500 years ago, it was a time before pyramids, before pharaohs, a time when mastodons still roamed the earth. In the heart of North America, a remarkable story unfolds, right here today on Documentify TV. Forget everything you thought you knew about the Stone Age. Tonight we travel back to a period where resourceful hunter-gatherers were shaping the future with a surprising material, metal. Deep within the Great Lakes region lies a treasure trove, the largest deposit of native copper on Earth. These early Americans weren't about to let this natural bounty go to waste. Archaeologist Dr. David Pompini takes us on a journey to uncover the secrets of the old copper culture. Dr. Pompini said, For years we believed copper mining in North America began around 6,000 years ago, but a groundbreaking discovery near Eagle Lake, Wisconsin, shattered that timeline. We unearthed a copper arrowhead, a staggering 8,500 years old. This find pushes the old copper culture back by a mind-boggling 3,500 years. This single artifact rewrites history, revealing a level of technological sophistication far beyond what we imagined for these early societies. They weren't just tinkering around the campfire. The old copper culture possessed a remarkable toolkit, axes for chopping wood, knives for preparing hides, and exquisitely crafted fish hooks for their reliance on fishing. But copper wasn't just about practicality. Archaeologists have also found evidence of copper being used for decorative purposes. These intricate designs hint at a burgeoning artistic spirit alongside their impressive metalworking skills. Unlike other metalworkers who relied on smelting, the old copper culture took advantage of native copper's unique properties. They used simple tools like smooth stones to pound and shape the metal. It was a laborious process, but their dedication yielded remarkable results. But around 3,000 years ago, the love affair with copper seems to have faded. What caused this decline? Dr. Pompiani suggests a dramatic shift in climate. As the region became drier, perhaps readily available materials like stone and bone became more practical. However, there's another possibility. Copper may have transformed from a utilitarian tool to a symbol of status. Perhaps only the elite could afford these precious metal objects. The reasons remain a mystery, but one thing is certain. The old copper culture left an undeniable mark on history. They were pioneers in metalworking, demonstrating the ingenuity and resourcefulness of early North American societies. Their story reminds us that innovation can bloom even in the most unexpected places, forever changing the course of human history. So next time you think about the Stone Age, remember, there might have been a whole lot more metal involved than we originally thought. The old copper culture's legacy is a testament to the enduring human spirit, forever pushing the boundaries of what's possible. What are your thoughts on this latest discovery near Eagle Lake, Wisconsin? Start the discussion in the comments, we would love to hear from you. Until then, see you in the next video.